A parting line is the boundary between the positively and negatively drafted faces of a plastic part. This is also where the two halves of the mold come into contact. This line is of particular importance because of the role it will play in allowing us to separate the mold into a core and a cavity. Let's take a look at how to generate a parting line for this part. On the molds toolbar, there's an icon for the parting line feature. I'll select it and the parting line property manager appears. Remember that the parting line is the boundary between the positively and negatively drafted faces of a part. To determine which faces have positive draft and which faces have negative draft, the parting line feature will use the draft analysis tool. I'll select the top flat face to define the direction of pull and use 2 degrees as the minimum draft angle required. In the next few lessons, we'll be creating the tooling for this part, so I'll leave the Use for Core Cavity Split option enabled. In situations where you might have multiple parting lines, this setting identifies which parting line is the primary parting line to be used for splitting the mold. If there were straddle faces in this part, Split Faces allows SolidWorks to automatically split the faces into their positive and negative regions. I'll leave this option cleared for this example and click the button to run the analysis. Shown in dark purple is the parting line that was automatically created. You can see it was created based on where the positive and negative faces come together. In the Property Manager, you'll see a listing of the edges that make up the parting line. This list in combination with the selection window and selection tools below allows you to manually define a parting line. In this case, the parting line is complete, so I'll click OK. I now have a parting line feature in the Feature Manager tree, and I'm ready to continue on to the next step in the mold design process, creating shutoff surfaces.